yes hello everyone welcome back to our channel this is my instant match reaction and i know i haven't done one yet this season but what a better time to do it than after we've just beat crystal palace 2-1 who knows i'm currently sat in lauren's car i don't know where she is but it's fine um but yes what a result uh buzzing with that finally we're able to break that curse and be able to uh, get three points at home in front of the in front of the fans and give them something to cheer about this season so far. So it's a it's a great feeling, you know. I've missed the feeling of being able to win at home and and really feeling quite ha quite happy and excited about the prospect of the season. I think it's been a bit hit and miss so far, um, but it feels good today. It really does. I mean, when you when you look at how the game panned out, going one nil up in two and a half minutes through Taylor Hines of all people, who I didn't really expect to get on the score sheet, but it's always amazing when when something like that does happen. But yeah, Taylor, Taylor Hines goes goes one nil up, absolutely drills at home, um, buzzing with that. It, you know what? When you when you get a when when you get an early goal, it just puts you on the on the on the right path for the for the rest of the game and just instills a bit of confidence. Like the intensity in that first half was incredible. Um, in comparison to how we've started a few other games in the past, but yeah, getting an early goal is is always so important. And actually, we're roasting in front of this glass. I hope no one can see the sweat. Um, yeah, early goal was great. Um, and then Ash comes up with another goal. Obviously, gets a. Gets on the score sheet with a lovely work goal, cuts in on the right, and then uh, takes takes a shot off and just the angle that we were sat, we just seen it go straight in. I absolutely love when that ha that happens. It's it's an insane sort of prospect to look at. So seeing that go straight in was was amazing. So we're two up. I think when you look at their goal, we probably could have defended that a little bit better, just been a little bit more alert. But I mean, that girl didn't didn't mean to score from that distance. Let's be honest. It's a, what I call a Beth Mead crot. For those of you know, you know um but i mean yeah first half was really 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 good really good great intensity played well as a team leanne kinnan could have scored about 16 million times she'll get a goal soon i promise um don't haunt me that <laughs> but um second half i think was a bit tough i mean when you do when you go in to half time being the better team i think you've got more you've got less to talk about the other team are obviously going to change tactically and then and it alters the sort of the balance of the game so coming out second half it's always going to be a little bit more difficult and um, they're going to be a lot more attacking minded and, and and we're probably going to have to do a lot more of the defending because they obviously need to get a couple of goals to stay in the game um i think yeah definitely the intensity dropped a little bit um quite sloppy in some places but you know what i, I can't be down we've got three points at home in the sunshine um yeah that's that's all you can say really um I think it it was sad not to see Rihanna Dean on the on the on the in in the match day squad. Sorry, but Matt Beard said after the game she's been um, she's been looking after a foot injury, but hopefully she's ready for the next game. I think she's going to be key key for us over the course of this season in terms of where we're looking at where our goals can come from. Um, but I think if I was to pick a player of the match, I'd probably say Mel Lawley. I think she was she was incredible and and she really really put in a massive shift for the team um and uh i think especially that 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 second half she just switched on electric the pace she just ran the game from midfield um and and she was unfortunate herself not to get on the score sheet it's probably everything she did everything she possibly could and that was the only thing that was missing but yeah you know what a great a great overall performance i just let's just carry this on now let's not have the stop and start malarkey all the time where we win we draw we lose let's just push on i mean it's a massive season ahead and the more fluidity we can have within this team and the more fluidity we have throughout the season it, it, it only bodes well and you know what promotion it's still in touch no one in this league has excelled yet um but let's let's hope that that is us um so yeah i've babbled on for about five minutes now um i'm sure that's all you need to hear from me so i'm gonna go um i hope you all have a great sunday evening um i plan to and enjoy the rest of the sunshine and have a great week if you want to hear more of our match analysis firstly you can go and look at the, the interview we had with matt beard on YouTube, uh, Ashley Hodgson also gave us a little bit of a word on, on the game today and how she thought it panned out over on our Twitter. So make sure you go and check that out. And me and Lauren will be back in the studio this week to do a podcast. So you'll be able to listen to our voices again if you have not already. 
but yeah make sure you go and check out all the content on our channel um i'm gonna go enjoy the sunshine while it's still upon us uh and we'll be back soon soon next week with another video so yeah make sure to like this video comment your match player of the match in the comments subscribe to the channel to find out more and listen to more of us talking about liverpool women really uh but yeah thank you all for watching and see you all soon bye